Hello and welcome back and I'm here with a very quick update. As we all know, the attorneys for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were set to face off in court one more time this Friday in the last ditch effort perhaps to settle the defamation case before the judge finalized the trial verdict. So the two sides appeared in court at 11 a.m. in the Fairfax County Circuit Court for the hearing. As we all know, on June the 1st, the Virginia jury awarded Depp $15 million in damages, which was reduced to $10 million plus $350,000 because of the caps that were set by the state law. After finding that Heard unfairly portrayed him and defamed him in the Washington Post op-ed. So in the process, we know that this op-ed had had a negative effect on his reputation and career. So while the jurors ruled in favor of all three of Depp's claims of defamation, they did find that the actor's former attorney defamed her in one instance. So that's why they awarded her two million in damages as part of her countersuit. So in the Fairfax County Circuit Court, Judge Penny Ascarte had not entered the verdict into the docket at the time, putting it off until this Friday. So we finally have the final word from the judge. We've reached the conclusion and contrary to the reports or the spin by some outlets that said that perhaps Ben Chu had hinted at the fact that um, Johnny Depp would be willing to forego uh, the millions that were owed to him in damages. If she agreed not to appeal, uh, we now know for a fact that we have the final answer. As you've seen by the title of this video, we now know. We now know that the judgment has been made final. Amber Heard will have to pay Johnny Depp the full amount. And to go into details, this is courtesy of Anjanette Levy. She said this, that Judge Escarte was no nonsense as usual. No request for an injunction by JD's team. So, of course, many people wanted an injunction, but they have not um, done anything concerning that. I think they're just choosing to focus on the finances that are owed to Mr. Depp. And Antoinette went on to tweet and said, Also, Amber Heard will have to post the judgment plus 6% interest per year bond to appeal. So I think this basically means that... In order for Amber Heard to appeal, she has to first pay the $10 million plus the $350K. And if she does not pay it in cash, she will accumulate a debt of 6% interest per year. So that's way, way more, a lot more, of course. So you can imagine this. And, and of course, you know, I think that this case, as much as Johnny Depp said that it was not about the money, it was about restoring his reputation. I think we can all agree that the case was quite costly to him in lawyers' fees. Just imagine in having his whole security team go there. It was quite a cost. And of course, the op-ed did so much um, harm to his career and reputation. Think about all the jobs he lost. And I think for those who watched this trial, of we got to see um, experts basically explain to us how you know, the finances worked for him before and how much he was worth and how much he would earn and unexpected projections for his earnings per year. It was quite a huge amount of money. So you can imagine that. So I think he wants to enforce um, through his lawyers, of course, what um, the jury came to a decision concerning. And, you know, that 10 million, as much as it's a, you know, huge amount of money, we did hear way, way bigger sums mentioned in terms of what he would earn in an year. I'm talking about 25 million and over. So I think that he wants uh, what's owed to him and it's not out of malice. I think it's just common sense and also to teach, you know, a lesson to put something in place and to let it sink in that he did go through something. If I think he let her off the hook, it would be kind of a slight to his own um, suffering that he went through and all the fans as well who've had to put in a lot of time and effort um, to do some independent journalism and trying to keep um, people updated with 
you know, unbiased facts concerning this case because we did know there was quite, you know, a slant before, especially with the UK judgment. Now knowing what we know concerning the pledges versus donations. And, you know, I, I wonder whether that's going to be revisited as well because, you know, a lot that was even said in the judgment in the UK, some that actually made it into what the judge there said just turned out not to be true concerning the donations first pledge. Let's see what happens there. So, um, you know, of course, as I always say on this channel, uh, we rise above. We don't go after Amber in any negative way. I just think from a logic and common sense standpoint, this is a great judgment. And it's quite interesting. Anjanette said concerning um, Judge Ascarte that she was no nonsense at all. And I've seen a few more posts where you could totally see the tone of voice. She was all business. And... By the way, I want to add this. I think that they had filed some things under seal. I'm talking about Amber's team. And the judge said no to that. Um, she said the case was public. So um, she would not be accepting, you know, things that were filed under seal. Um, she said that if they need to, uh, to appeal, that whatever they had filed would need to be unsealed. So the judge intends to unseal everything if they do want to appeal. So basically, they have, I think, about 30 days um, to do so and Amber as I said before will have to pay 6% per year which totals to about $480,000 that it will take to complete the appeal if she chooses to go ahead and she has to on top of that pay the full judgment amount as a quote bond suspension in order to appeal so that's the update here Thank you all for watching. Thank you to those who support my channel, to those who support financially, my Patreon, PayPal, and membership supporters. I want to say thank you. Giving a special shout out right now to Bernadine Robinson. Thank you for your support in your super chats. I want to say thank you as well as thank you to you right now. And thank you to Gail Tapscott and Cookies and Cream. Thank you all for watching. To those who subscribed and comment, I appreciate you as well. Have a great day wherever you are. And I would like to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I love you all. Have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.